What's up comic and pop culture fans? James with Men Hunter Comics here. I'm feeling like a bit of a dollar bin diving king. I don't know, you'll have to tell me if you've done better than this. I'm feeling pretty good. I was invited to check out basically a whole warehouse full of books that the guy just didn't want to bother with and they were a dollar a pop. So I ended up with over six long boxes full of books that the lowest value was like five bucks and the highest value, well, you'll see. I'm gonna show you a stack right here. Now this is only the books that are $25 or over. If I showed you everything, this video would be like a four hour long video. And frankly, a lot of it's still not sorted. So if I really wanted to give you every single book that was 25 or over, I'm thinking this would be a significantly higher pile. I've only gone through about one third of the boxes since I've been home, and that's a couple days now of processing. So I'll show you the what I think is the best of the best so far. Maybe we'll do a part two. Let me shut up. I'm going to send this on my next CGC unboxing fantastic condition right there. It's a Three Little Pigs book from 1942. Next up, we have the first Deadpool ongoing series right here, and that is the first appearance of Blind Al and Cannon Fodder, first ongoing title. A lot going on in there. Really sharp. That might go to CGC too. I got a couple of these. This is the only one I found, which means there's more in the boxes to come, which is awesome. That's the first John Walker becoming U.S. Patriot. I've got a bunch of 10 cent westerns from the 40s 1948 on that one i believe this one is 1949 and this is the oddball stuff i like right here more 1948 uh, i have several copies of this first appearance of paladin and once again there were more of these but they're in other boxes so here's the one i found the collection had a lot of duplicates Second appearance of Harry Osborne as Green Goblin. This is the one where it's the first appearance of uh, Karina Tavon, Daughter of the Collector, but it's also Guardians Meet Avengers for the first time. Also got several of those. Here's the first appearance of Jocasta. Very nice, 162. Uh, there was a ton of Bronze Age Avengers. It was really nice. Now, I got a full run of Static. I'm actually just going to basically show you the ones that are over $25, like this one, low print, first appearance of Rubber Band Man. Uh, some of these ones near the end of the run are just so low print. And then we got, I'm actually skipping ahead to some of the best, but we have the new Wonder Woman classic right here. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, that could go to CGC. This next one's definitely going. First appearance of Blackheart, and we got it in a newsstand. Super sharp. I like the look of that. Uh, best book of the day, so I probably should have ended with this one, but there it is, guys. First appearance of Tarantula. It's about a 200 some dollar book here at Men Under Comics. We always price well below, especially since I got this thing for a buck. I think I can afford it. Black Lightning number one. Really sharp condition that might make its way to my CGC pile. Then we have the first appearance of Peter's parents right here. Awesome issue. All right, now we have Pip the Troll, first appearance right there. These are all the big boys I'm showing you right here. So we got the Death of Electra, ridiculously sharp. Now check this out. We got a full run of Kick-Ass. Yeah, number one is the second printing, but whatever. Still very valuable. Really happy to see that show up. Then we've got the anniversary issue of Iron Man, which has a shocking value right there. Actually goes up to like a $50 book. Pretty insane. Then we have the first appearance of the Crusaders, and this is a nice enough copy that I'm actually probably going to send that off. Invaders 14. Then I've got Invaders number 5. Again, possible 9-8 after a little bit of pressing here, so we'll see. Origin of Liberty Legion. Then we have the first appearance of Desaad. That's very nice right there. The DC fan in me leans a bit heavier towards those. Eternals number eight, first one above all. And uh, it's loaded up with other first appearance of Deviants and other uh, things like that, but mainly that's the one. Uh, we have several copies of the John Carter Warlord of Mars. Let me skip a bit, actually. There's quite a bit. Then we've got two 
Ms. Marvel number ones, both in varying degrees of quality, both high grade, not quite in the nines, I think. We're in the eights on these. Very nice, Ms. Marvel number one. All right, let me just spin this around. I grabbed this one on a whim, and uh, I'm glad I did because apparently it's pretty valuable. That's the third appearance of Spider-Woman. Much more valuable than the second appearance of Spider-Woman, interestingly, probably just because she's actually on the cover of this one. Then we've got, unfortunately, quite low grade, but in Mylar, first appearance of the Grim Reaper. Then we've got the first appearance of Midnight Man. Very nice. That's a sharp copy right there. Probably like a 9.6. Nice. And we, jeez, <laughs> I can't believe this was in there. Champions number one. Good God. First appearance of the champions, baby. We also have the second appearance of Power Girl. And then we've got, which was this? It says, More Drew the Merciless. Some Adventure Comics keys right there. I think that's the origin of Sun Boy and first appearance of Dr. Regulus. Adventure Comics keys. Avengers number seven was in there. Not only is it a classic battle issue right there, but it's also the first Rick James, Rick Jones as Bucky Barnes. That's the Enchantress issue. Then we have the death of like everybody on this one. Nice condition there, but the rap is ridiculous. Uh, first battle of Thanos and Warlock, death of Warlock, Pip Patrol and Gamora, first appearance of all six Infinity Gems. And like I said, there is infinitely more than just this. I have over six boxes of stuff under $20, but over $10. Uh, but we have a full run of the thing. One through 36, it's all there, right there. 35 is the biggest key of that first appearance of the second Ms. Marvel. But that is pretty good. Overall, I think we did real good, guys. As I process the rest of the boxes, maybe I'll make a couple YouTube shorts to do a follow-up. Frankly, I believe some of the stuff that I have yet to process is the best to come. So I'm really looking forward to it. This was an absolute killer, probably my best dollar bin diving I've ever been a part of. So really thrilled with it. I will see you all the next video. Keep on hunting. Make sure to come down to Sentiment Depot Antiques and Collectibles where I'm set up with all of my comics located at 238 West Delaware Ave, Pennington, New Jersey. Open every day except for Monday and Tuesday. Enjoy 10% off from Wednesday to Friday. See you there.